It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a Lithuanian lager to show you and a pack of Wow Crisps from Poland slash Germany. Uh, the lager we're going to show you first and foremost is called Alderis. It's a premium lager. It's called Tika. It's 5% ABV. It's in a one point can look. 568 milliliters. Offers a whole pint can. I like that. I like the thought of that. It's 5% ABV. Uh, I've not done any research on the brewery. Um, what I like to do, some of you know this. I like to grab the beer, do a review on YouTube. And then while I'm processing the video on my computer to get ready for YouTube, I like to head on over to Wikipedia as I'm drinking the beer. And have a look at the brewery's history. Some of the brewery's history is so absolutely remarkable. They've got like hundreds and hundreds of years of history. And then there's other breweries, like, uh, is it uh, United Dutch Breweries, uh, the, the Dutch company that make, oh, they used to make a Rangie Boom back in the day. Still do. You don't see a Rangie Boom around too much anymore, though. Uh, well, they. They've got like not much of a history at all. They're like a group of companies that decided to group together. Use the word United as a group and they're now a great big brewing company. But in terms of actual United Dutch breweries, there's not much of a history there at all. They're like a manufactured company that just so happened to kind of just meld together a load of different companies and call this company a name. If they're around in 300 years time, then maybe they, they can be then called some kind of, have some history there, but there's no history at all. But I mean, I'm not, this, this is probably not from United Dutch Breweries. This is probably from someone else, you know, but another company, maybe, maybe called Alderis. <laughs> but what I like to do is, is, yeah, is I have a look on Wikipedia at the, at the beer and the history behind the beer. And the brewery. So beer in the glass, this Lithuanian lager is nicely carbonated. We've got a one finger white head. It's amber in colour. Quite clear, quite clear to look at. It's um what I find about Lithuanian lager is it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting because you often find a, a darker lager in Lithuania. And, and th that means they've got a beer history. That means that they like different styles. I was drinking a um, a Marzen from Lithuania just the other day. So it means that they might be German influenced in their beer drinking, which means that they like, you know, it, it doesn't have to be kind of pale and straw coloured for the Lithuanian people. Let's get the aroma. Ooh. Interesting one, this. This has got a level of sweetness that it reminds me of a beer. Got it. This has got the aroma of old speckled hen. And I know it's got the aroma of old speckled hen because I've drunk tons of the stuff. I play snooker on a Wednesday night and the place where I go to play snooker serve old speckled hen and it's like like it or lump it type of thing you, you either drink it or you drink coke so you know I'll drink I, I got to uh, I quite enjoy a pint of old speckled hen while I'm playing snooker not my drink of choice but there we go I drink it anyway I'd rather that than coke but this has got a very similar aroma to Old Spackle Hen, that kind of sweet caramel. Sweet caramel aroma. Dare I say it, and I hope I don't offend anybody in Lithuania, but a slightly kind of artificial sweet caramel aroma that you get from mass-produced bitters. Yeah, it smells okay. It smells okay, let's dive in. 
Cheers, everybody. Mm, it's interesting. It's definitely lager based. This is definitely a lager. They've tried to make a base malt lager, I think. And they've added the they've added that kind of caramel flavour that you get from a something like a an Abertail or an old speckled hen or a, a Marston's pedigree. Brewer's syrup. I brewed a beer with a brewery once. Um, we got to the stage um, where uh, we were we were transferring the beer from where it had just been boiled. And they were transferring it to the fermenter. And they were adding something called brewer's syrup. And I asked the head bro, I said, what's that? Brewer's syrup? He said, I can't tell you. I was thinking, okay. you know, you've added the malt, I was thinking. The malt's gone in. What on earth is brewer's syrup? It's that kind of artificial syrupy, yeah. Some brewers cheat. I'm not necessarily saying this, this Lithuanian brewery is cheating. I'm just saying that they, they, they probably just brewed a base pale malt lager here. And they've added some of that kind of brewers, that special brewers syrup to make it. It's very, it's very tough to kind of nail down flavours on it. If you sometimes I used to describe like an old speckle hen as having like a cherry like flavour to it, and that's that kind of that brewer's syrup that they use. Yeah, very sweet. A very very sweet beer. Nicely carbonated, good head on it, but I always ask myself the question, and the question is this, would I buy another one? Would I drink another one? After buying one can, if I seen this in a four pack somewhere, would I buy another four of them? I don't think I would. I don't think I would, to be honest. Um, it's... It's a pale lager, but with, with that brewing syrup in, and, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't really interest me. It, it doesn't really kind of like, it's not making me go, Oof, yeah, this is great. It's far too sweet for a start, and it's lacking bitterness. Sweet, sweet, sweet over there. No bitterness at all. It's leaning over to being sweet. It's unbalanced towards being sweet. Yeah, it's quite a, a little bit cloyny as well and sticky, to come to think of it. Not a fan. Not a fan. But hey-ho, you go to these wonderful European shops and, you, you know, you see all these different Polish stuff, Lithuanian, Romanian stuff. And you think, oh, you know, I'll have a go at that. Why not? My eyes are open to the world. Let's try different things. I always will. Always will. Some things you love, some things you think great. I had a fantastic Romanian lager from a company called Ursus recently. Big bear on the front. That was all right. But then this one didn't work. This this one didn't work. Let's try these crunch chips. Wow, incredible paprika and sour cream pleasure. Oh, look at these. A hundred and forty grams of crisps. Oh, no, 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 no. Less. Normally they're a hundred and forty grams. These are only a hundred and ten grams. Big, big bag like this, only a hundred and ten grams. If this was in the UK, this would be a hundred and fifty grams. The, the UK would fit another forty grams of crisps in there. Bit naughty from Lorenz, I think, and Crunch Chips. Look at the bag. I've just opened them. They're probably a third full. A third full, this bag. 
definitely room for more. The crisp looks interesting enough. Lots of paprika flavoured on there. Paprika and sour cream. It's all right. If you like that slightly hammy taste that you get from paprika, it's here in abundance. <coughs> a little bit of a touch of peppery spiciness coming through and loads of sour cream. Yeah. All right. They're okay. like a bacony more of a bacon flavor coming through now like a bacon frazzle or something like that they're nice <coughs> they're nice but I don't really like the fact that they put them in a big bag and they've only given you 110 grams and they they're about two pound a bag so they're definitely making their money's worth, Lorenz, here with these with these crisps. Um, bit naughty, really. Um, I think they should be 150 grams at least in a bag that size. I mean, really, look, look at that. Right. Slightly disappointing review, really, wasn't it? The lager didn't really make up. The lager didn't really work for me. Um, these are the days on the channel where you you review a beer and you review some crisps and it's kind of like, you feel a little bit like, mm, you know, you feel a little bit like, I want it to be better. Um, this is a, this is a, a what, what I would call a, a Monday, a Monday type beer review, you know? Everything's slightly disappointing on a Monday. Oh. Beer, quite disappointing with the sweetness. That synthetic brewer's syrup caramel stuff that they stick in it. Not for me, five out of 10, five out of 10. And the crunch chips, wow. No, I mean the flavor. I can't, I can't take anything away from the flavor. Um, sour cream, slightly bacony flavor. Paprika, yeah, it's all a bit of spice in there. They're all right, but I don't like the fact that you look at the back of the back of the bag. You think you get at least 140 grams of crisp. They sold you 110 in a big bag. Daylight robbery, as my grandfather used to say. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with the bag size, so I'm going to say six out of ten for them. Six out of ten for the crisps. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.